Okay, so let's talk about Jim Bowie. Of course, we uh, in popular Texas history, he was remembered as one of the heroes of the Alamo. Let's talk about the first time that Bowie encountered Texas. Uh, in 1819, the United States underwent a serious financial panic, the Panic of 1819. Financial times are tough. Uh, Jim Bowie owned a plantation near Bayou Buff, Louisiana. And if you're not familiar with the location, it's the same location that Solomon Northrop was enslaved at uh, in the movie 12 Years a Slave, or hopefully you've read the book as well. Uh, and so Bowie owns a plantation there, as does his brother Rezin. And there are three Bowie brothers, uh, James, Rezin, and John. And they get the idea to go into business with the pirate Jean Lafitte. Now, you remember, remember John Lafitte from uh, U.S. history. He, of course, helped Andrew Jackson win the Battle of New Orleans in 1815. Well, this is four years after that. Lafitte has abandoned his hideout on Barataria in South Louisiana, and he has set up a camp called Campeche on Galveston Island. This is before Anglo settlement of Texas. This is when Texas is a backwater of New Spain still. And... Lafitte has begun smuggling in African slaves from Cuba. And of course, as you know from U.S. history as well, the international slave trade had been outlawed in the United States since January 1st, 1808. So, the Bowie brothers know this is going to be an illegal operation. They go to Jean Lafitte, and what they do is they begin purchasing African slaves. Bowie sells his plantation on Bayou Buff to get the startup money for this venture. Uh, they pay Jean Lafitte about $160 a head for these African slaves, and then Jim Bowie himself drives them at 40 at a time or so through the swamps of East Texas and Western Louisiana. And Bowie had terrorized these poor people so badly that very few of them even bothered to run away. So. Uh, Bowie and his brothers get th these Africans, and Bowie makes four trips like this, total of about 180 or so African slaves. They get over to Louisiana and they bribe the customs commissioner. And according to U.S. law at that time, if you encountered illegally smuggled African slaves, the U.S. government would give you half of the price uh, that you would get at auction for these slaves. And so they're getting about $500 a piece for turning them in. Now, accounting for the expenses they had incurred, purchasing them from Lafitte, they're making about a 50% profit margin. So what they do is they bribe this customs commissioner and they purchase these people at auction because the other part of the U.S. law is that the U.S. government has to auction them off. They're not returned to Africa or to Cuba. They're auctioned off. And so... Uh, the Bowie brothers purchased them back at auction for themselves. And that way they actually launder these human beings into the country. Uh, and they get legal, clear title to them, and they begin selling them to other planters uh, in South Louisiana. And Rezin Bowie wrote that the three brothers made about $65,000 off of this venture. Uh, which in today's currency would be roughly one and a quarter million dollars. So this is a profitable venture for the Bowies, and this is Jim Bowie's first visit and encounter with Texas.